uh, weirdest circuit ever. Uh, let's take a look. This is a pretty weird circuit. Uh, uh, let's see if I go near. If I go uh, near this, my hand is near. I change the blinking. I go away. It's faster, right? Um, and if I were to um, use this Evomenko plug, right? And if I touch the high voltage. On a one wire, I change the blinking. Right, uh, this capacitor over here, uh, 22 microfarad, uh, which is the blue one behind the lead over that side, uh, is causing the blinking. Um, this is the circuit. Uh, hopefully, you can see it. Uh, basically, it's a weird combination. This is a 3906 uh, PMP, and then PN. This is a trigger coil. I don't know how many kilovolts is this. Uh, but basically this is my clock lead, uh, you can see my red clock, the clock lead is uh, coming off of the uh, top of the trigger coil and into a transformer, right, that's a, uh, the white one will be 3 volts, the white and the black is 3 volts, the yellow and the blue is 9 volts and the brown and the thicker blue is 220 volts, 230 volts. Um, the black clock lead uh, which is connected to the base, uh, which is here, Right, um, it's uh, left for nothing. Uh, it's left hanging there. All right, so basically, um, the pot, the potential meters are put into zero ohms, uh, and over here, this trimmer is also put into three ohms, running off three volts. The three volts is uh, taken off uh, this power supply here. Ignore the rest of the circuit. Um, you see, if I were to touch this, uh, or even go near. Right, I change the uh, blinking rate if I disappear and also I am actually discharging, the capacitor is actually discharging through my body as ground. If I were to touch it, that's amazing. Alright, um, yep. If I let go, right, uh, it blinks. It's a bit weird right now at this point in time, uh, I don't know what to uh, think of it. Uh, my Evomenko plug, I uh, basically can, once I touch this, Right, I'm actually uh, blinking together with the. Uh, oh, it's not blinking anymore. It's a bit weird. Um, when I touch this, right, uh, basically a Evo Manco plug is to show that there's high voltage down here. Right, there's high voltage there, and it's actually blinking through my fingers. I don't know whether you can see this or not. Hold on, huh? Yep. It's back into blinking mode. Um, I can adjust. Uh, it's a bit weird there, maybe some straight capacitances. Uh, but if you can see that if I were to change by uh, adjusting this, right? Don't know where you can see that. If I, my hand just go near, just going near. And uh, yeah, okay. And uh, if I were to just, you can see even my hand being near the knob of the real stat, you can see the blinking has slowed down. If I take my hand away, it's faster. Not because I've turned it, I just come nearby, right? And just nearby itself. Um, this is a uh, very weird. Um, uh, but basically, there's some kind of high currents going on down here. Um, I can go to even the 220 volts there. Hold on. Uh. Yep. I can see the blinking is happening over that side. Um, I don't feel any tickling sensation. Transformer, nothing. Yeah. Uh, right. Right, you can see this Evo Manko plug. Uh, basically, I, I'm touching just any corner of it. This is a bridge rectifier. Um, I soldered. I, I just connected to two of the leads over that side uh, using the Evo Manko plug uh, configuration. So that let me test high voltage. Too bad uh, I'm not going to go more than 3 volts uh, because I don't know what this trigger coil is going to do. Uh, but it's amazing. Uh, basically, I'm allowing the capacitor. Uh, my body is behaving as a capacitor and it's discharging through me. Uh, it's very interesting. 
if I go near the base again, if I were to go anywhere near the base, I'm actually affecting the uh, blinking rate, right? And of course, you can see, you know, it's weird. Now, I can't hold this camera up here, but basically, if I were to hold this and the red lead, maybe I use my the other finger to hold the red lead. Uh, yeah, I hope I don't get a nasty shot. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> You see there? Yep, electricity is tra traveling through my body. Right, um, it's a weird combination. I get stuck here again, I don't understand why. Oh no, the blinking is very slow. Um, maybe it needs some form of a discharge. Uh, let me just do this. Yeah, I think I'm right, need some form of discharge. Okay, maybe I just change this a little bit. There's something weird going on with this circuit. Uh, right, let me just, uh, or maybe basically the this may have shifted a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you can see um, it's back. Yeah, maybe because the trigger coil has shifted a little bit. Again, when I go nearby, nearby, <laughs> this is very interesting. I can't hold the camera and focus at the same time. Man, right, all the other components are thrown away as far as possible. Um, I even go as much as to okay, I, I, I won't go into the other experiment at this point in time, but suffice to say that uh, this circuit is uh, it's pretty weird, all right, it's pretty weird over here. Alright, I'm getting this again. Let me just touch the high footage. I'm getting that again. I'm just touching one wire again. I'm saying I'm just touching uh, the wire with one of these and I'm providing the other contact. So, for example, I hold like that. You know, it, it should work. Maybe just let you see nearby just one wire. Right. Yep. Okay, you can see that. Well, for now, uh, this is the circuit. Uh, uh, well, I'm thinking that uh, there's something going on with this uh, trigger coil, uh, and it's like capturing a lot of displacement currents into the base here. Uh, there's a 470 uh, micro uh, micro Henry, sorry, not micro Henry, micro Henry uh, choke over here, and basically this controls my base current into my MCN. Well, I'll try to figure out how this works or somebody can help me to figure out how this thing works. And uh, yeah, update you next time.